All right, hello. This is 99 Crash Bandicoot, and uh, this will be a series that I'm going to do every year. So I've always, and or at least most of the time, I have stayed away from this competition due to the fact that I've never really cared so much, and I've never really been bothered to like make my own customer and all that stuff. It's just, it's not like uh, I haven't liked her or, or anything like that. It's just that I've always just stayed away from it and just kind of watched it behind the scenes, if that makes sense. I've just been watching while while the leading customers uh, have been getting picked, like Hope and L and all of those who have gotten picked for the competition. But this year, I am myself... Okay, I can turn on new music. I, I do have two customers in the competition. First of all, I have uh, Houdini, which is a magician, and then I have Leticia, which is my girlfriend. So, my girlfriend does not really dress like this, but I kind of wanted to make her a little bit fancy because of um, if you're gonna win the competition, you gotta make something a little bit more fancy and a little bit different. So. The reason why I picked Houdini was because of um, was because of uh, he's my favorite magician of all time, and he's also a name of a chess computer, so which has the same name. So I figured it would be cool to name a customer that. So so yeah, I don't really have that much more to say than I would really appreciate if you voted for my customers. I'm going to share the link in the description. And of course, if you if you are voting for my customers, I'll obviously vote for yours. So it's it's a win-win sort of thing. It's just would be a fun thing to see how far like our customers can get in the competition, even though it's extremely unlikely that uh, one of at least one of my customers will get picked. Like there's two customers out of twenty-five thousand. But still, there's a lot of customers who probably won't get picked because they don't have a proper name. A lot of customers have like my customer as a name, and um, they have other weird names like Luigi and all of that. And uh, it doesn't really. Sp it's just that uh, people haven't really written the names correctly with you know, like small letters and numbers and all of that. At least that that's at least uh, quite a few customers who are not really correct. So I think what Flipline is going to do is that they're going to pick some customers uh, which have a lot of votes. So not necessarily the ones with the highest votes, but I think you'll have you'll need five stars or or at least four if your customer is going to get picked. And they'll also they'll have to like it. So they're gonna look through customers who have a lot of votes and then then they are going to decide themselves who are going to be in the uh, in the competition and after that you're obviously going to vote until there's just the last man standing as it is every year so chances of winning is so low that it's almost ridiculous but the chances of getting into the um the bracket is also insanely low and it would be awesome to get into the bracket so, um, if you vote for my customers, I'll vote, f vote for yours, I would highly appreciate it, and I'm sure you would also appreciate it, uh, appreciate if I voted for yours, so, there you go. <laughs> uh, if you want me to do some voting, I can definitely do that, uh, so we can jump into the voting thing, and I'll vote for a few customers, so, you'll notice how people don't really have a proper names. Even though here people do have proper names, except this Charlie guy. Uh, there's a lot of interesting customers. Uh, uh, the Charlie one was a little bit different, so I'm gonna pick that one as my first one. I like to do this. Alright. I'll vote like 10 times and that, that's it. <laughs> Just to, you know, end the video on a high note. I don't really know. Uh... My cool customer, <laughs> you can see, <see. laughs> it's not really a proper name, but it's funny, so I'll vote that as my favorite one. There we go. My cool customer. Um, <laughs> uh, Katie, Chris, Nick, Kathy. Not Katie, Kathy, alright, that's a different one. I don't really know which one is my favorite of these ones. A lot of times, I don't really like any of them, but I just have to pick. 
I always pick randomly as well, I don't really care too much. Would be fun to vote a bit, so that's why I'm doing that. Alright, there you go. Uh, let's see. I'll do a few more. Okay, this girl is kinda cool, I'll pick that one as my first. Alright. A lot of Kates in here. Uh, Lucas, Lily, and Buck. Buck is not my favorite name, but the character looks cool. There you go. Lucas was also a cool one as well. Lily was mo more of the... It was alright as well. There's a lot of good customers, I think. Alright. Gary. Morgana. Was kind of as a Halloween outfit. This one is difficult. I'll pick this one. There you go. And, uh, yeah, I'm not going to bore you guys with more voting, so there you go. My customers are doing okay. If you can look at my girlfriend here, she has two stars. And if you look at the magician, he has three stars. So it's kind of cool, though, to see how your customers are doing. So, Or you can always create customers without submitting them in the freestyle mode, which probably a few people are doing as well. I'm just always on the sideline here, so as I said, most of the time I've just been watching this from behind the scenes. But of course, it's fun to have some, you know, some customers in there, some competitors. So yeah, I'm going to share this link right here in the description and uh, vote for me and uh, I'll vote for you. So as always, thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one.